Hey, what's up, guys? You're watching DIY Dozier, and on today's episode, we're going to be discussing the disassembly of a 2019 and newer Chevrolet 2500 HD or 3500 HD grill assembly. Uh, stick around, I'll show you the details how to do it, how to get it done. Here we have our 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. It is white or Olympic white, Summit white, whatever uh, you guys choose to call it these days. So the customer is asking for his grill to be color matched. So everything across here is all going to be white to match the truck. And then he also wants the letters, which are recessed in the, in the grill area here, to remain black. So, without further ado, we're going to get this thing off, get it sanded, and get started. Okay, so to remove the grill of this 2020 Silverado, we're going to come over here and there's going to be some tabs that hold this in place. Here's one here. Here's one here. Again here. 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 There's another one back here. And up here. And across here. And there, we're gonna remove all these tabs. It's gonna remove this plastic piece so we can move on to getting this grill popped out. You're gonna need a flat head or a panel pry tool. So we're just gonna take our flat head here, pop it inside there, give it a little bit of pressure, both sides, lift it up. Grab a hold of that, pull it out. Panel tool here, pop it down inside there. And remove it also. We're gonna do that all the way around. Next thing we're going to do is remove these Torx bits off of the uh, the latch for the hood. That way we can get this handle off for clearance to remove this plastic piece. This is our hood latch. It's held in place with two Torx screws. They are T10. Now that we've slid off this handle right here, this plastic piece should pop right out. You have to take off the fender wheel trim. It just pops out. There's just snap tabs that hold it in place. Uh, you don't got to take it all the way off. I recommend taking off the first four. One, two, three, four. The first four holes, again, those are just snap tabs. I recommend popping off those first four. You do not have to pop off. If you get to the fifth one, you got to take out the fender wheel trim, which I did unscrew the fender wheel trim and pull it down. But you don't have to. Seven millimeter screw, take that out. Grab hold of this panel. You can grab right here. I don't recommend pulling on the ear, but right behind the panel, if you pull right there, there's little tabs that line up with this crack here. They pop out. And then there's two tabs right here, right there. And they come forward this direction. And these two will probably go ahead and pop out on their own once you pull the, the other half over here. But there's two tabs right here. You pull and that comes out. And then you can access the grill. This is the back side of the passenger side trim panel for the grill. You have snap tabs on this. There's two there and there's two there. There are four 10 millimeter bolts across the top of the grill. I've loosened already. You see them sticking up here. You got one there, one there, one there, and one there. Remove all four of those. The bottom of the grill right here where my finger is there's a 10 millimeter screw. It's on both sides. Down there and to the left by the other headlight. There's another one right there. There are four pop in snap tabs. You're going to have one, two, three, four on the right side. And then on the left side, there's going to be one, two, three, four. All you got to do. Just grab hold of the side here and give a tug out. This pops right out, as well as this side over here. Just stick your hand out here, grab and pull, and it pops out. So two seven millimeter screws that hold each plastic panel on both sides of this grill in place. You got one there and one there, both sides. These four screws are T20 
Torx screws. You got four of them. One, two, three, four. It's the exact same on the driver's side. This is what the back side of the grill looks like. The top and bottom of the grill has these tabs right here. You must get in here and take a tool and pry this back. You need to pry it down to get this, this white tab to come out so the grill separates it slides forward. These tabs are located across the top and bottom of the grill shell housing all the way across top and bottom. And then you have this one here in the middle of the uh, O. It pries out top and it pries down away. It kind of sandwiches in a V shape on the tab. Same thing down here on that one. This is what your grill looks like after you separate the two pieces. This piece up top was removed to color match the paint. There's these little snap tabs right here. They go all the way across the bottom of the center section and the top as well. And in the middle of the letters, there's another one right here. There's going to be another one down here. And there's... Guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. If you liked the content and what you saw or if it was helpful to you, please be sure to click that like button and be sure to subscribe so you can get notifications on the next uploads. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below and I'll be sure to answer them best that I can.